Happy Saturday, everybody, and God bless. Rapture News 23 here. So last night, I was blessed with two amazing things. Amazing for me. The first one was this amazing vision I had. Uh, when I was getting ready for sleep, I was laying down, my eyes were closed. And all of a sudden, my vision, even with my eyes closed, got really bright. And I was like, wow, this is... Like, I, I opened my eyes. Did something turn on? No. I turn, <laughs> I closed my eyes and I see the vision again. And it was like this, but times a thousand. There were all of these angels. And some of them were probably saints. And they were flying around and they all had beautiful robes on. And there was so much excitement in the heavens. And I'm like, wow, this is amazing. I opened my eyes again. I like rub them, I close them, and I see the vision again, and I couldn't hear it, but I could sense there was music, and the angels were flying, and everything was vibrating and amazing, and in the middle of where all the angels were flying, a gate like this, but golden, appeared, and there were angels flying all around it, and the gate was actually moving towards me, and this lasted for about 20 seconds and then um all the energy died down and i saw written in the heavens in front of the gate dress rehearsal and then the vision ended <laughs> and uh i'll get to the gate but the next thing that happened was a dream that i had so what was so unique about this dream was i was having a normal dream and then not only did it become lucid, but it was like the most lucid, <laughs> one of the most lucid, if not the most lucid dreams I ever had. I was dreaming about something I don't even remember. And all of a sudden, I was on this beautiful wooden dock out in this tropical water. And I was with God's land down, down under. You could check out his channel. He's another watchman on the wall uh, down under. And God was there, but I couldn't see God. and. Uh, God's land down under, he was telling me all about the dock and the water and the ocean. And all I could think of was, I know I'm not dreaming and I'm totally aware of this and it's amazing. And then, <laughs> I don't even know if I want to share this, but I'll just share it. I don't know if it means anything or not, but while I was still lucid, no, and I know, I say to myself, I'm like, this isn't a dream and this is like a heavenly experience. I look up in the sky and the clouds roll by and all of the clouds form different numbers and like equations, like algebraic equations. And right in the middle of them, I see 12 and 13. <laughs> and the first thing I think of is, oh, I got to get my phone out and record this to post it on YouTube. And right when I reached for my phone, I woke up from the experience. And it was so, so vivid and so amazing that there was no chance I would ever forget it. I mean, it was locked in. But getting back to the whole Heavenly Gate vision I had. This was Hourly Watch's uh, video. And he's talking about Babylon, which means, he says, the gate of God. And at first I was thinking he was talking about the uh the Milky Way and the galactic the galactic center and I'll show you what that that is in a second. So there's the Milky Way, the galactic equator in the center and then there's uh two different gates or so-called gates in the heavens. There's the Golden Gate between Sagittarius and Scor Scorpio and the other one between Taurus and Gemini. So when I saw the gate of God, I thought that's what he was talking about, but he wasn't. And as you can see, people in the Watchmen community have known about the Golden Gate and the Silver Gate for some time. Uh, the keys on the Roman Catholic Church sig sigil, our coat of arms, have the Golden Key and the Silver Key. But they call these portals, portals to the heavens. And it just so happens that right now in December is the time of the Golden Gate when the sun is between Sagittarius and Scorpio. And this is the free uh, web version or Android version of 
Stellarium, but as you can see, the sun has just passed Scorpio, and it's right within the area of the Golden Gate. So this may just seem like nonsense to a lot of people, but with all the prophetic things I've had and dreams and visions and prophecies come true, a lot of it has been in San Francisco by the Golden Gate. And the Golden Gate's always been an image and a symbol uh, in my mind. And there it is, the Golden Gate of San Francisco. So does this mean the rapture is going to happen this month? There's no possible way I could say that. But for me personally, uh, there's about five different signs that I've been watching for. And in one manner or another, they're all converging on this month of this year. It would be a perfect time for the rapture. And <laughs> you hear that, God? You hear that, Jesus? Now is the perfect time to come back and uh, rescue your church. And the Holy Spirit, which is the down payment of the resurrection and the rapture from the dead, rapture uh, <laughs> into heaven and resurrection from the dead, the Holy Spirit is our down payment. And so if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, if you put your faith and trust in him, then that's your reward. We will forever and eternally be living in perfect bodies, free from sin, free from evil and wickedness, in a beautiful place with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So that's my dream and vision. I usually don't share those. And for something to actually, <laughs> for me to actually share something, it has to seem pretty significant. So keep looking up. Don't lose hope. Keep praying, and uh, maybe, hopefully, we'll all be together soon singing beautiful songs to our Lord in heaven. God bless.